this is going to be a frozen product and not something you're getting at a gourmet restaurant, what are the most important things that you would still need if you were going to buy this off the shelf? Um, even knowing that you might be lowering your standards from a gourmet one at a restaurant, I took in all that uh, feedback from these same customers who used to come and tell me I made a great grilled cheese with your product, right? So knowing that this was kind of the right customer base that I wanted to satisfy, made sure that the product would hit those boxes. And then once I had developed the first prototypes, uh, we were actually still doing bread delivery at, at the time. So people with their bread order, they could order a grilled cheese and they could put in a coupon code for a free one in exchange for a review slash feedback. So I could make sure, you know, we were making the product to the standards that they had set for me. That engaging the customers in that process was the first wave of marketing. Beyond that, it's, you know, keeping those customers updated, having a decent social media presence. And then once you get into, once you make this leap into the world of larger grocery, there's a whole other set of promotional mechanics you just are expected to engage in and they work like putting your product on discount four times a year paying to be in the online circular putting out a shelf talker you know like a sticker on the freezer door all these things are kind of like conventional grocery things and they work they encourage new customers to try the product